Hey everybody, yeah I just figured I'd make another exercise video. Even though my channel is supposed to be for my art, my exercise videos get more views, a lot more views than my uh, art uh, videos do normally. So I guess I'm going to have to put an exercise video on the channel regularly or maybe once in a while, just see how it, see how it goes. So uh, it, that was my wife's uh, idea, by the way. Th that's how it all started. She suggested that I film my monthly workout, and I did, and it got more views than any video I've ever done. So I've been putting exercise videos on this channel once in a while. Even though the channel was always meant to be for my art, I figured I might as well put, put an exercise video on once in a while because I get so many more views with those. And... Uh, I, uh, I, usually, I like to usually work alone. I never thought I'd be filming my exercises, but it, it brings the views, so I might as well do it. And today I wanted to show you how to do a good lower back workout without using any equipment or any weights or barbells or dumbbells. And uh, I'm going to use something special, something very unusual, something you've probably never seen before. Ta-da! Yep, just a normal... Just a normal everyday bath towel, one of those long bath towels that you can get at various stores. Very common, very normal. And this is all I use nowadays for my lower back workout. I'll show you what I do. So I'm just gonna show you my complete lower back workout. This is what I normally do. So you just have your towel. I'll just do the whole thing so you can see it. And I'll show you how I grab it, how I stand, and what I do. So you can see the whole thing. And then plus for safety reasons. And before you start any exercise program, remember to consult your doctor to make sure you're ready for it. So I just grab the towel like this. I put it on the floor. And then I step on it like this while I'm holding it with my hands and you can always pause the video or back it up and watch this again like this and then what I do and then you can pull on this as hard as you want but I never do because you can hurt your back if you pull on it hard so I always at the most I'll probably use about 75 80 percent of my strength and then just hold it until I go to failure or I get tired Sometimes I go to failure, sometimes I don't. It's my habit, you know, I have a habit of go, going to failure on everything because I actually, I actually enjoy it with, all, with everything I do, but uh, sometimes I train where I don't go to failure. In fact, it's safer not to go to failure. Often when I'm doing resistance training, I will uh, stop one or two reps shy of failure or one rep shy of my form breaking down, you know, make sure your reps are, uh, your reps are good, you have good form, and when you feel like your form's gonna break down and just stop, you can still get stronger without going to failure, really. So what I do is I start, try to back up a little bit so you can see it. So I start here, and I grab the towel down here low and when i'm here when i'm here i'll go like this so you can see i'll go to the side and i never pull hard because if you pull hard you can hurt yourself so i pull very light so please for safety reasons pull light here for a few seconds maybe five to ten seconds like that and then go up a few more seconds light all this is light when i get up higher then i'll add strength so the light here just light please go light this helps warm up too this helps warm up the back so just light light Just light, very light, light, hold it, and a little light, 
this level you can don't pull hard but a little more strength you can add a little more strength hold it and then go up you know change uh, grips you got basically the same grip but you want to go up the towel so you get a full range of motion here I'll add more strength maybe about 50 percent of my strength Here, maybe 60% of my strength, holding it. Here, 75, 80% of my strength. And it varies sometimes, but for safety, always go light at the bottom and then you can go uh, lift more and uh, use your strength more as you go up. Here, about 80% of my strength, hold it, just hold it. There. Hold it. Hold it there. Hold it there. Then I go back down, repeat the process, and then I'll, I also do a deadlift. Uh, I get into a deadlift position with the towel and kind of do a deadlift uh, position with the towel, so I get that too. You can use this towel to go in many, many different ranges of motion. You can be in so many different positions with this towel. So here I'll go low again. Pull lightly. I'll just show you this lightly. Lightly. I'm just going through this kind of quick so you can see it lightly. Just go up a couple inches or maybe an inch lightly. 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 Like you, you get the idea. So now, now my back's warmed up. So I'll do kind of a deadlift position. And you can see how I do it. So I start low. And then here's light. I'm tall, so it's not very easy for me, but light. And then light. Light, but not too light. You can start adding strength now, but with this, just warm up good and don't pull too hard. Just there and then if you want a good grip you can you can grab the towel and rest it against your legs that way you don't lose your grip actually I find when I have a towel I have a better grip with a towel than a bar I can hang on to a towel better than I can a bar in my experience so each person's different but and if you have trouble with your grip, see my hands? Just rest them against your legs so it makes the grip stronger. So like this, like a deadlift. I'll use more strength now because it's, that's what I want this workout to be is I wanna gain strength or maintain it, but I don't wanna use all my strength because doing the deadlift position you can hurt yourself if you do that too strong, too hard. So I never go above 75%. I never use 75% uh, or over 75% of my strength. Except when I'm up here, then I might go 80. Hold it. So I'll just show you so you can see the basic. So here, back's warmed up. Like this. Strong, but not too much strength. You don't want to hurt your lower back. Hold it. Hold it. 
See, I'm, I'm gripping it again and again, moving my way up the towel. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Yeah, I find this good for my lower back. It helps. I heard it quite a bit in the past, but this helps me. I heard it doing my boxing workout. I ducked as hard as I could and came up as hard as, hard as I could for close to an hour until finally it hurt so much. And I heard it that way like 12 times. So now I don't do that high impact anymore. It's all safe, wise exercise for health and longevity. There. You don't have to go to failure, but I like it sometimes. There, again. And I don't rest and come back and do other sets. I just stay right here and keep doing it till I'm tired. I, I don't do, I don't really do sets. Um, it's good if you want to do it. I just, uh, I don't. Here, feel like I don't need to, but so start here again. Grip it lower. You can go as low as you want. Maybe like this, light, light to moderate strength. Here, light to moderate. Here, I use a little more strength. Hold it. There. Yeah. About 75% of my strength. Feels good. Okay. That's good. It's close, to, close enough to failure. So you could do your deadlift position with that towel. You can do pretty much any position, but please do it safe. And uh, this helps my back. It really does. Yeah, I worked up kind of a sweat. And uh, I've been doing the towel like that for a few years now. Wrestling bridges, you know, your wrestler bridges, it's good for the neck, but uh, after you lift weights for a little while or do resistance training for a while, I found it's just not enough for your lower back. So the towel is enough for me. Hopefully it's enough for you. But it's, to me, it's pretty safe, but just remember, go light when you're here. And then as you go up, you can slowly increase the strength, especially like if you're at this level, you can increase the strength. Take care of your lower back. If you feel anything you don't like, stop and be safe and happy working out.